With a carbon price, businesses will pay for their greenhouse gas emissions. If all businesses had to pay the same price, that would be a level playing field. But if the carbon price isn't the same everywhere, would some Canadian companies leave town? If they did, this wouldn't be good for either the economy or the environment. As a group of economists, we asked this question. When a Canadian province adopts a carbon price, which sectors of the economy will be most affected by competitiveness pressures? Two things matter. An industry's carbon intensity and how much it trades outside the province. In a local market where all businesses pay the same carbon price, there's not a big issue of competitiveness. And for industries that compete globally but don't produce a lot of greenhouse gas emissions, they also won't be affected much. It's the combination of high carbon intensity and active trading in global markets that may give businesses something to worry about. But here's what we found when we looked at the data. With a $30 per ton carbon price, the vast majority of businesses in Canada will be virtually untouched by competitiveness pressures, 95% of our economy. But this doesn't mean we can ignore the other 5%. These potentially vulnerable industries must be part of the policy solution if we want to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and keep our businesses competitive. That's why targeted, transparent, and temporary supports make sense. Targeted means focusing on businesses that are truly exposed. Transparent means making those decisions based on real data in the open. Temporary means support should last long enough to give industries time to innovate, but with a clear cutoff that gives them every incentive to get going. In Canada, we need carbon pricing policies to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. These policies will take some hard work and careful thinking. Fortunately, those are two things Canadians are pretty good at.